What happens in these situations, especially for in football, right? You you in basketball, so many games. In football, is a handful of games. So we lose to Philadelphia regular season, and they like, oh, we got this handle. We gonna take care of them. They had the mindset to send their equipment. So they pack up everything, advanced equipment, already started to head to San Diego where the Super Bowl was being held. We got to play the game on Sunday. They already done packed up everything. They had to turn Ooh. around in New Mexico. Wait, was well, that the, was that the year? Because I was at the vet. It's like the second around. second to last game ever at the vet when it was they the beat. Last game. We yeah, no, down. second to last is when they beat uh, Vic, right? Because I was at that I don't game know who freezing. They played, what I don't year know who was they that? played to get to? Us. I think so. I think they beat. I think they beat. Um, I don't remember Atlanta. But yeah. it was a, it what was, year was that, Key? Man, don't ask me. I don't yeah. even remember. Oh three, oh two, oh three. I don't even remember. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even remember. So, but it's a fun. It was fun though, watching the oh. people cry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Don't judge me though. Like <laughs> something about like seeing like little kids cry too. Like for me, King Petty. Like everybody. Mm, everybody. I don't care. Look, it's like, oh, you know, I always, like, mm-hmm. I always stuck in my head when, that's mean, but when they asked Larry Bird once what was the best part about beating the Lakers, and he said, knowing that Magic was suffering in the other locker room, I'm oh, like, yeah. hold up, yeah, wait, dog. that's the best part? The best part of out of everything is your rival's pain. Yeah. Oh, well, the wait petty a second, though, king. Max. We talk about the, the the king of all pettiness, yeah. Michael Jordan, your yeah. guy. Yeah. What was that story you told me about? Oh, he wants his opponent. To oh. be at their best, yeah. so he knows that this he can beat Stephen them. A, Stephen A. actually told me he was like he would do things to provoke and antagonize his opponents before the night before a deciding finals game or a series. And I would say, of course, that's like what Muhammad Ali or Kobe or any master psychologist would do. They would try to get you off your game, get you angry. Stephen A. said, "No, Jordan's intention was this: he wanted you." to be motivated to be at your very best so that when he beat you... Take your soul, man. Take your soul. You knew Snatch. that he beat the best version of you. Oh, Savage. That's, that's, that's Savage. next level competitive. Anyway, Steph, is, Steph has got that little petty thing. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Uh, is he top 10? Is he top 10 all time? That's something we got to get into. You know, another petty uh, player... I guess all the greats, right? Takes one to know one. Because Clay Thompson's the first ballot Hall of Famer eventually, and he's petty too. Listen to this. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength and numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. <laughs> I can't wait to retweet that thing. Freaking bum. That, I had to watch that. I'm just like, this freaking clown. Okay. 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 Sorry. That memory just popped up. You're going to mock us? Like, you ain't ever been there before, bro. We've been there. We know what it takes. So to be here again, hold that. Jaron Jackson, Oof. where are you? Hello, calling Jaron Jackson to the aisle. Aisle three, Jaron Jackson, Memphis Grizzlies. By the way, get your popcorn next year. For yeah, that. because Ja oh, wasn't there. Ja my was hurt. Oh, <laughs> goodness. I am there for yeah. all of that between the Memphis Grizzlies and Golden State. And you got to experience that to take the next step if you're Memphis. But I, so I'm going to say something, too. Like, he called he him t- a bum. He yeah. called him a bum yeah. and a clown. Yeah. That's like personal. Jaron Jackson could play, too. Yeah, I mean, Jaron Jackson, all right. But, like, yeah, he's good. I mean, Jaron Jackson was popping off at the mouth but for somebody that's not been there before. But, like, I'm, I'm all for that. He's not Clay that. Thompson. I'm yeah. all for that. Like, and, and Ja, they bring that same kind of energy. Golden State's probably a favorite to win it again next year. You would probably say that. I don't know what the odds are. I, would I don't know if they the, came the out, odds, but... Yeah, I was going to say, did that, did that come out already? They I mean, usually release it, like, right after a game, right? I mean, I they're want, talking about extending Wiggins on his contract. He has one year, one year left on his deal. I want to see what the Bucks do, the Sixers do, the Nets do in the offseason. You got to see, like, I'm what so the powerhouses the do. They, they, Tired of talking about them. Yeah, they're talking about Easy, resigning, yo. resigning James Harden. You said what? Yeah, he's resigning James Easy, Harden. Man. Talk about the city in a couple weeks, man. No, a couple of weeks. To, I'm just trying to talk about. I the also Sixers, have though. to turn my gaze now. Apparently, according, there's a mandate on this show. Jay and Key say I now have to focus on Kevin Durant. Well, you are the well, master motivator. No, I don't motivator. care who you focus on. It's your yeah job. That's I right. just know you. Now that <laughs> your your taste buds are satisfied with Steph yeah. Curry. Who's next? You now got to target we'll somebody else, target. I'm sure. Great player who yeah, I'm sure. somehow, the, 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 somehow, the man in the arena. Yeah, somebody yeah. that you just have a a, a real uh, 
I was going to say something. Uh, yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but be careful with that one across the East River, though, because yeah. unlike Tom Brady or Stephen Curry, he's going to fire back. He's going to bite but, back. But by the hard. way, see, you guys, honestly, you take it the wrong way. The question is you've it. now reached a certain level of greatness. It, there's another level. There's always a, like, can you get that? And that's the whole drama. So wait, it's, if it's not, if it was easy, everyone would do it. Of course, it's well, very, so very, very difficult to do. So, so now Boston, yeah. people are talking about as a perennial powerhouse in the Eastern Conference. Yeah. Who played for Boston? Kyrie Irving. Yep. Now you're talking about Kevin Durant, who played for Golden State. They win a championship. People are saying they're the favorite next year. Stephen A. saying they could probably win it the next two out of three years. Who's across the East River? Katie and Kyrie on the same team, that's mm -hmm. a lot of pressure on those two shows. Yeah, it, no, it is, and, and it's an easy, for me, it's an easy, if I was Max and I was, you know, looking to, to stir the pot up, it's easy for me to look at Kevin Durant. The reason it would be easy is because Steph Curry did it without Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant didn't do it without Steph Curry. It's oh, almost see. like... The, the Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe. But, but, but be careful yes. now, be careful now, because you're also fueling his Bill Belichick argument that Bill can't do it without Tom. Yeah, I don't, Guys, you all I, I just, know. You'll, here's the thing. Be here's what, here's be what you, what you, do. Here's what you will that. find. I'm not writing it. I'm reading the script. The athletes write the script. Kobe did have to show that he could do it without Shaq, he and he did it. That's why he's Kobe Bryant. If he wouldn't have done it, he wouldn't quite be the Kobe we think of now. That He did something that was very, you. very difficult. No, in, in the difference between Belichick and Brady situation, Belichick don't give a damn about <laughs> yeah. what Max is talking about. <laughs> See, he, he's just he, thinking he's about not, the next opponent. He's not, next opponent. Yeah. He's not yeah. going to. Yeah, he's moving uh, on to yeah, the he's next opponent. He's just focused on Carolina. Yeah, they got to play do, Carolina, whatever. He's yeah. not going to do what Curry's fire back at you when he wins. He's not going to attack you like Kevin Durant would. And so you don't have to worry about that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.